If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And today, I am planning out my power solution because in two months from now, I am going to be traveling from Huntsville, Texas to Huntsville, Alabama, and I'm going to be car camping in the primitive campgrounds at Montesano State Park. Totally off grid for five days straight at the campground, plus a day traveling there and a day traveling back. So I already know the power bank I'm going to use. I have this big power um, bank here that theoretically is going to give me all of the USB ports. The I don't really need 120 volt, but I need my biggest concern is powering my 55 liter ice co fridge, as well as camera gear, batteries, radio batteries, all kinds of mostly DC stuff. Now, NERSV has sent me, this is their 400 watt solar panel. We reviewed a couple of their 200 watt panels on the channel before, and I actually really ended up liking them. In fact, I'm using one right now uh, to power or to charge the battery box that's in my car. So this 400 watt, I'm really hoping I can use in conjunction with this uh, battery power station to keep me powered the entire five days that I'm there. Now, I'm out here on a partly cloudy day. I'm in Huntsville State Park in Huntsville, Texas, and where I'm at should hopefully closely resemble the primitive campground that I'm gonna be at. I picked it last year, and the reason I picked it is because it has some bit of open sky where the canopy of the trees is not covering it, so I will probably have a similar, if not slightly smaller area that I can get sunlight in during the day. Now I have zero expectations of getting morning sunlight and I have zero expectations of getting uh, sunlight in the afternoon. It's mostly like right now it is 2.30 p.m. Uh, so mostly kind of around now when the sun is directly overhead, that's when I'm expecting to get most of my power. So I wanna see how much power we can get out of this panel in direct sunlight, but more importantly, how much power can we get out of it in the shade because I think I'm gonna be mostly shaded and having 400 watts out of this panel should be better than having a smaller panel just even in the shade because it'll, it'll still harvest more of that sun's energy and give me power. My cooler, I've been, I've been powering it from this uh, power bank for the last two days and my cooler, when, it, uh, when the compressor kicks on, pulls anywhere between say 40 and 70 watts just depending on how hard the compressor is working. In the real world what that means is when this battery bank, whatever you want to call this power box thing, is at 100% I was basically drawing 1% from the battery per hour with my cooler. But that's with the cooler inside and my house is 78 degrees and I'm not really opening it much. I just wanted to get a baseline. So the cooler is going to be the biggest current draw on that thing. So I basically need to make sure that it's going to power that. So let's take a look at this panel and see what it can do. So the panel comes in this big carrying case and I wouldn't say this is the most portable panel, but for what I'm about to do with it, this is absolutely perfect. The case has smaller straps so you can carry it. It also has this padded uh, strap here for carrying like you saw in the opening shot, even though I had it on wrong. So we're not here to talk about a case. We're here to talk about a panel. So let's open this guy up. And we can see we got some stuff in here. We've got a cable for attaching from the panels, cables to all kinds of various different things. We've got power pole, we got XT60. We've got this kind of, I don't know what this is, but there's two pins in there. And then we also have a coaxial plug. We're gonna have three stands for standing up the solar panel. And then we have the panel itself that has this zipper pouch on it. We've got some stakes in here if we need to stake the panel into the ground if it's windy. And then we have the connection cables and there's also uh, a coaxial adapter in here. This case is actually a little bit padded too, which is nice, so it should protect it. And there's this little flap here too that's gonna protect the, the panel part when you have the uh, stands on there. So that's pretty cool. And then the panels themselves have another strap on here so you can easily carry it wherever you need to. And these stands are able to configure in a couple different angles. So the way these work, you're gonna get three of these and they just spread apart. You've got this strap that's got a hook on it. So if you want the 
highest angle towards the sky, you can put it like that, but there's these little holes in here. So if you want to angle it higher, you can put the strap, the hook in the hole, or you can put it in that other hole. So, and then there's also some Velcro up here, uh, presumably to secure the panel to the stand here. So let's go set it up. So now we can take the cables that come from the solar panel and we'll plug them into this kind of multi-adapter cable. And then I'm gonna use this Anderson connector and I've got a run, a 50 foot run of, this is 10 gauge pure copper wire that I'm gonna to run to the power bank. Now before we plug this in and test this and start talking about specs, this is the time in the video where I tell you that Nersvi has sent me a special link that if you want to pick up one of these panels, you can save 10% off on this panel, but in addition to the 10% off, Nersvi will also give you a 30 watt foldable solar panel that's great for charging laptops and tablets and phones and stuff like that. So if you're interested in one of these panels, click the link down in the description, it'll take you to Amazon and you can grab one of these panels as well as a free 30 watt panel and get 10% off of this one. How's that for uh, one of these things? On with the show. Let's also talk specs of the panel. Obviously it's a 400 watt panel. The open circuit voltage is rated at 40 volts, so do make sure you have a charge controller that is capable of accepting 40 volts. I'm really geeked for the 40 volts because I'm using a 50 foot transmission line to go from the panel to my battery bank and the higher voltage means less voltage loss and voltage drop through the cables in the distance that it takes to get there. It has an, I think it's called an EFTE or something, I'll put it right here, coating on it so you can kind of see how the sun is glistening off of it. I don't know much about it, but from the little bit of research I've done, uh, basically this coating, one, protects it from the elements. So this panel is waterproof. You can get wet. I hose down the other panels that I tried out from NERSV. They're fine. The only thing you don't want to do is get the electronics, which are in that bag, this little zipper thing wet. You want to keep the electronics dry, but I don't think in, even in the configuration that I have it right now, we'd have any issues with that. So 40 volt open circuit, 400 watts. Let's see, uh, let's test the open circuit voltage at the panel here. So if we take our handy dandy meter, and I'm just gonna plug the, the into the XT60, we're getting 36 point, uh, about five volts there. Not the most accurate meter, but close enough. So about 36 volts we're seeing open circuit right now. And now taking a look at the other end of the cable, you can see we're getting still 36 and a half volts. So pretty much no voltage drop there in that 50 foot cable. So that's freaking awesome. Then I just plug the cable into like the adapter cable for the power bank here, which is an XT90. Go ahead and plug that in. And right as we plug it in, the sun goes behind a cloud. So in the cloudy conditions, we're putting 50, it was 40 a minute. Now the sun's coming out a little bit. We're seeing, fit, let's just call it 50 watts in the shade or under clouds. And we can see the sun is kind of in that cloud now. It's coming out a little bit. So the panels are getting some sun, not so much. So now it's kind of in the shade. Like they're still harvesting some energy, but yeah, as the sun comes out of that cloud right there, I'm curious to see what'll happen. But as it stands, now the, sun, now the sun's coming out of that cloud. At that 50 watts we were seeing, uh, this pretty much will at least keep up with my cooler. So now we're seeing 160, 150 watts there. So we're getting more. Still partially covered the sun, but uh, that's what we're getting right now. All right, check that. I moved the panel a little bit over. That bit of shade was kind of covering the corner panel there. Now we're getting 300, almost 300, there's 322 watts in. So this thing is doing freaking awesome. Look at that, four hours to charge this battery bank. That's freaking amazing. That is doing really well. 
Now this is exactly why we plan. I've been out here since the last clip, it's been about 20 minutes. I've consistently been seeing about 300 watts coming from the panel, but now I have my Yaesu FTX-1F connected and this box is putting out a lot of RFI, which is interesting because when I reviewed this box, I didn't get any RFI when I had it plugged into either solar or 120 volts. But watch as I unplug the solar panel from, look what happens, all that noise goes away. And then when I plug it back in, as the power ramps up, you'll see the RFI ramping up as well. Now it's very rare that a solar panel would cause RFI. It's generally the charge controller. And in this case, that is true. I connected a 120 watt power film solar panel up to the battery bank there and I got RFI as well. So the solar panel is not putting out any RFI, it's this box. But the solar panel is putting out a lot of power right now. So that's a good thing. So what that means is I'm gonna have to come up with a different battery and charge controller solution than this power bank, which I have the stuff at home. I just have to try this again with that stuff. But this review is about the solar panel and this solar panel is, is doing what I expect it to do. We're not seeing a full 400 watts out of it, but it's also not the perfect time of day and not the perfect conditions, which is exactly why I'm out here, because that little bit of sun right there is about all of the amount of space that I'll have when I'm in Huntsville, Alabama. So that's why I wanted to test this out. In terms of size, it is a big panel. Uh, it does fit, it, it's actually gonna fit perfectly in my Ford Explorer XLT, and I can, I can either lay it down or I can stand it up. I'm probably gonna stand it up because it fits perfectly there. And that's right where I put like my folding tables when I'm camping too. So it'll be like the solar panel, the folding table, and then my 12 volt cooler, um, and then all the other junk that I bring with me. So, but as far as the panel is concerned, it only took me a few minutes to set up. It's big, it's powerful, it's 40 volts. So we have less, uh, less line loss in terms of voltage drop. So I'm pretty pleased with this. I have no question that this panel, assuming I see some bit of sun in the five days that I'll be camping, will be able to provide the amount of power that I require. I just need to use a different charge controller and battery, which I have. I'm just gonna have to come up with a different solution and we'll see that when I get to Huntsville, Alabama in two months. But overall, I'm liking the NERS V stuff. Like I said, I've got, a, I've got their 200 watt panel charging a battery in my car right now. This is charging this. We're still getting 300 watts out of it. So uh, as far as everything that I need it to do, it's doing it A-OK. -okay. I think this is a good first run of it. I have literally never used this solar panel until today when you saw me use this. So this is all, we're all experiencing this firsthand. And uh, I think we're doing pretty good. Time will tell. But uh, yeah, I think this is a great camping solar panel. Not something you're gonna wanna take out every day for short trips. You know, if you're only gonna be out for a few hours, I don't think this is that panel. But if you're gonna be out for days at a time, like I'm gonna be, I think this is gonna be fantastic. So that's the review. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, again, if you wanna pick one of these up and get a free 30 watt foldable solar panel and 10% off of this guy, there'll be a link in the description. Until next time, my name is Mike. K at MRD. Thanks for watching Ham Radio Tube. We'll see you next time. 73.